Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video is on the fly. Fufu happens to be present for this wonderful haul. I am so excited to share all of this with you. I have been looking forward to the Nordstrom anniversary sale for like the whole year, since last year's sale, pretty much. This year I went crazy, I bought a lot more than I did last year, and I was really, really excited to see that there were so many fantastic items in the sale. I do also have a blog post that broke down what I was intending to buy, some of the things they had available, some of the things they didn't, um, but overall I got everything that I really wanted. There's three bags and we're gonna go through all of them. So let me show you. In the first bag, I have beauty and shoes, and those were some of the items that I really, really wanted to manage to nab, and I managed to find all of the items that I wanted for those categories. So the first item that I had earmarked, one of the pricier items on my list, is the La Mer Beauty set. And they had a couple of sets, but I think this is the best one because it has so many different items and it's a really nice taster of the different products that they offer, but still very useful for me because it has an eye cream, which is what I actually use. And then it's also got their classic moisturizing cream, a mask, a uh, micellar water and a renewal oil as well, which I'm excited to try. And all in all, it comes in a really pretty pouch. I didn't go crazy in the beauty section because I find a lot of kits include items that I don't really want or need. So this was one that I really was excited to get. Um, definitely on the pricier side, but great value because you're getting, I think, just over $100 off of the value for all of these items put together. And they're all things that I thought I would really enjoy trying to add into my skincare regime given that I've tried their eye cream and really enjoyed it. Second on my list of must-haves that I had on my blog, I managed to score the Dictique candle set. This was a must-have for me because I think this set is so cute. It's filled with small candles and I can actually smell them through the packaging because they are so intensely potent. Now going into the store, I smelled, smelled them many times and also bought them as gifts, but I feel like none of them have ever particularly grabbed me to the point of becoming a favorite, like I know Bay is for many people. So I'm just really thrilled to be able to try all of these classic scents, and I don't think that there's a dud in the pack. There's Bay, which is an all-time favorite for many. Figuier is one that I've considered buying before. Feu de Bois I've bought as a gift. Um, Rose, I think, will be really beautiful, and Tuberose, I don't know what this one smells like, let's show me see. Let's have a little sniff and that way you can see what they look like inside. They're very cute and very small, they're not full size by any means though, so they're going to burn through quickly. Oh, it's wonderful. It's like a, a woodsy floral, it's really lovely. Um, this might be the one that I like most, actually. But um, I really am excited to see what I think of the quality of these candles and I intend to do a favorite candles video at some point in the fall. Um, if you don't feel like you want to pick up really small candles but want a full size that will last for longer, um, I would really recommend getting the Nest candle set which I think has the Sicilian orange and the grapefruit in it, both fantastic scents and one of my favorite brands for candles that for sure will make it into that candle favorites video when I do film it. Um, so I will link that down below as well as the Volume Spa set that they have, which is just much lower price, much more affordable than this. Uh, but I thought this was a nice value. It's a $75 value for $66 and it allows you to try five of their classic scents. I also think this would make a stunning gift. If you are like me and you are a forward planner when it comes to gifts, this would be fantastic. I do quickly want to say before we get into the meat of everything else that I've gotten, Nordstrom did send me a gift card and it's paid for a small fraction of all of this, but it does explain a little bit why I bought so much. Um, the other reason is that this is really the source of a lot of my fall fashion is this sale because it's all new stuff. That's what makes this sale so incredible and so different. What does the bag say? It says, it says our anniversary sale is like no other and I completely agree with that because I can't think of any other retailer that does a sale where everything is brand new and for the upcoming season. To me that's very exciting and yes I'm full on in the fall fashion mindset now. Summer is what I'm enjoying in the present but what I'm thinking about is all about fall. You'll definitely see that in the shoes that I picked. My must-have pair that I 
really jumped on, I really wanted to be able to get these, is the Stuart Weitzman Notazie boot. Uh, so these are black suede zip-up booties. Stuart Weitzman, especially new Stuart Weitzman on sale, is very exciting. Their boots are definitely on the pricier side, but the quality is phenomenal. Even the sole is wonderful. It's very flexible, very comfortable. Um, their textiles are very soft and high quality. I've always been pleased with the quality of the shoes that I've ever bought from them. I always go down a half size, so I'm always pretty much seven and a half in every brand, but I get a seven in Stuart Weitzman. So if you're gonna order these online, that's what I recommend doing. And I was not sure if I was going to think these are too pointy or not, but once I tried them on in the store, I completely fell in love with them. I thought they were a must have, now I know they are. The block heel is the perfect height to give you a little bit of lift, but it's still very comfortable. It's gonna be a perfect shoe to pair with almost any outfit because it's quite elegant. It's really got an almond toe, I would say, rather than a pointy toe, and it's just incredibly buttery, soft, and beautiful. So I think that's a really standout value item to be able to get these in the sale. But then in terms of slightly lower priced shoes that I think are fantastic picks for the sale, there's hundreds of shoes in the sale, but I think these are definitely my two standouts. First pair that you may have seen in my blog post is from the brand Louise et Compagnie, and it is a fantastic brand. I have Mary Jane's in Burgundy from them last year that are still in perfect condition, haven't need, needed any attention from a cobbler whatsoever. And so I got these, which is the Logiana Green Multi Poseidon Brocade. Quite the mouthful, but essentially it's a beautiful, just woven fabric. It's very um, tough feeling, if that makes sense. I wasn't sure looking at them online if they were going to be very delicate and more of an evening shoe. I think you can completely pull these off during the daytime, especially if you like a little bit of shine and opulence to your look. I love the block heel of these, they're extremely comfortable, they just have a classic beautiful round toe, really well made shoes, and I think the fabric they chose is just really gorgeous and unusual, it's a real statement piece that will still pair with so many different outfits because it's got shades of beige, shades of khaki, brown and black going through it, as well as a silver shimmer, which is quite subtle. They also come in three other colors, so they come in a pink velvet, also come in a beautiful dove gray color and a black and they're all stand out oh they come in a gold as well which I didn't like as much um, but really really great pair of shoes if you need a new pair of pumps for work for the fall I would definitely look to that and the price on those is fantastic in Canadian dollars it's 116 in US dollars it's I think 80 and lower in price are these Cole Haan little flats but they're not really flats they're actually a tiny block heel and I love the styling on these because you can see they are a gunmetal, which is a really actually very easy to wear color because it's like gray, but a little bit more interesting. And it's not too metallic. Unlike the gold Louise et Compagnie, which are very blingy, these ones are actually subtle. They're perfect for work. You can see they have a nice shine. I think they'll be a great way to transition outfits into fall as well because they have that kind of coolness to them. And they're really unusual because they actually have the asymmetrical... Um, part here. So I think they look really modern, very 60s. I could see Megan Draper in them and just a really nice comfortable lift there. Most Cole Haan shoes that I've ever owned. They have beautiful cushioning on the inside, very, very comfortable, um, easy to walk in shoes, no blisters, really nice sole as well. Um, I know a lot of you are Cole Haan fans and so that's a really great thing to look out for in the sale. And you'll see 95% of everything that's linked down below are things that I actually bought because I think that's really important. It means that I loved it enough to pay for it. Um, I will link two pairs of boots that I did not buy, but I did try on. And the reason I didn't buy them is I just couldn't justify more Aquatalia boots because I already own so many pairs. They have two pairs in the sale. One is a riding boot and one is an ankle boot that is similar to the Stuart Weitzman, but it's much lower in price, it's weatherproof, and it has a round toe. So it's a really fantastic pair of boots, if, and if any of you are looking for a pair of boots like that, I mean, weatherproof boots are really hard to find that look cute. I will link those down below because I was close to buying them, except for the fact that my Aquatalia is from previous years still look pretty good, so I didn't actually end up going for it, but 
I thought a lot of you might be interested in that. Let us get into the apparel part of this video. I'm really excited to show you all the clothing that I got. I got a beautiful new coat, dresses, jeans, and sweaters, and they're all fantastic. And not only are a lot of these items very easily wearable, especially for work, but they're also really good bargains. Case in point, when Joe texted me and he asked me what the best bargain I had gotten was, I told him that it was a pair of pants um, that were really flattering and easy to wear. So these are from Halogen and they are 40 Canadian dollars. So I would assume in the US they're around 30. They are an absolute bargain because they are a ponte fabric, which means they are very thick, they are stretchy, but they are not like leggings. They don't have a fastening at the waist, which I was initially very hesitant about, but despite that, they're incredibly comfortable, well-fitted, and they don't give any kind of awkward bunching around the crotch. So they do not look like leggings at all. Now the other basic that I picked up but don't have to show you, so I will include a picture here, is a skirt that I actually ended up ordering. And so it's in the mail for me, and of course it hasn't arrived yet. It's a leather skirt, also from Halogen, also an incredible bargain. I have never seen a leather skirt, or any leather for that matter, of that quality so cheap. It's incredibly buttery, it's A-line, so it's really flattering. It's just a very simple design, so even if you feel a little bit uncomfortable about wearing leather as part of your sort of day-to-day -day outfits, this skirt might be the one to push you into being able to do that. So jeans for me are a must-have item from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It's really hard to find high-end jeans on sale. So Rag & Bone was in my best jeans, um, best of video recently, and so I was really, really excited to find these. Um, these were on my list of must-haves. It's a really nice dark denim, and it fits incredibly. This is a 10 inch ankle skinny. I would say maybe consider sizing down. I usually take a 26 in jeans and these are 25. Both of these jeans have a lot of stretch. So I got a 25 in the Rag and & Bone and a 24 in the J brand and um, apparently everybody is finding that these J brands are fitting really really big. So um, that's just my tip for you. I know that these are going to sell out fast because my very kind friend and helper today, uh, Monica in the store, who agreed to help me out and find sizes because it was all a bit manic, um, said that already these are um, going quickly. So this is the Rag & Bone jean. We'll just go with everything because a dark denim like this is the ultimate staple in my opinion for fall and winter, perfect for casual Fridays. Another one that's really great for casual Fridays is a gray jean because I think it looks really classy with like a black sweater or gray accessories. It's just a really nice streamlined look. I'm really getting into the gray jeans and this is the Maria High Rise Skinny Leg. These J brands are incredibly soft. They have even more stretch in them than the Rag & Bone, which is perhaps why I had to size down as well. Um, so this is the 24 and again, very, very classic, more high-waisted style. Both of these are on the high-waisted side and um, just really nice fit, you know? I feel like these are just classics. No matter what is in for jeans, both of these pairs will still be great to wear for years to come. Here at the bottom of the bag, I also have a random item, but very useful. These are little socks, and they have amazing padding and just really nice comfy stretch to them. So this is the Nordstrom brand, and they were a really good deal because they were $11 down from 16. So that's a pretty great discount on something, again, that you would never really normally see in a sale, right? Socks are not something that go on sale very often. So getting nice high quality socks, especially if you're active. You guys know I'm addicted to cashmere. My cashmere collection is something that I pride myself on. I hand wash everything and very loving towards it. And so I had a list of what I thought were going to be the best sweaters. And I did pick up a few that you'll have seen on the blog post as well as discovering a couple in the actual sale in the store that I hadn't seen before. The best bargain sweater in this sale is this Halogen 100% cashmere sweater. I always get extra small in Halogen um, for sweaters and it's a burgundy color and it's in Canadian dollars down to 110 from 169 which is what it will be after the sale. 
And so in US dollars, I would hazard a guess that it's well under $100. And it's so fantastic. I wasn't sure about the bows at the sides, but I have to say they're so cute. And the slit ends right around the waist. So it's really perfect because it doesn't actually really show any flesh, but it adds a really nice shape because the sweater kind of just gently skims the hip and has that nice detail. I wasn't sure if it was going to be flattering, but it really actually is. And then the next sweater will come as no surprise to you because this was on my blog list and I wasn't sure which color was going to be my favorite. It actually came to as a surprise to me that the beige oatmeal, which actually has a hint of blush to it. It has a warmth to it that is really gorgeous. And I don't know if you can see up against my pearls you can see it against the rose gold and the gray it's just a beautiful like blush toned kind of creamy color now, one that i know has been a blogger favorite i've seen this one on many lists for bloggers and for good reason because it really is a nice fit it's the rag and bone jean sweater i don't know what this is called it's just says black white on it but it's a cold shoulder sweater and it actually has a kind of collar effect that sits quite high up against the neck and it's just really nice and body skimming I would definitely consider this to be a bit more of like a sexy sweater but I think you could get away with it in a slightly more kind of business casual slash casual office if you wanted to but for me this is going to be more of like a going out sweater it's just really flattering on and I like this salt and pepper knit it's actually not really gray but rather a black and white yarn that's knitted together which gives an overall kind of grayish effect um, but it's really gorgeous really flattering and a nice deal as well on a designer brand and the last sweater that I got is a bit more of a splurge it's from Vince but I fell in love with the color of this sweater because it is unlike anything that I currently own and or really ever see in cashmere so Vince cashmere is fantastic I've bought several sweaters um, for myself and for Joe and it's just a really nice tunic length in this olive color it is a true olive green and again I feel like online this would have looked like nothing but in person against the skin it's just really gorgeous it's really a rich color it has a beautiful kind of um, saturation to it and it's very soft something that was on my must-have list was some more dresses from Eliza J they didn't have as many in the store as I was hoping they would but I did find one that I think is fantastic so I'm happy with that um, it is a navy dress very fitted already covered in foo, -foo cat fur so I apologize for that um, but what I think is special about this dress is that the cutouts look like they would be cold shoulder but they're actually not because this side comes quite high up and so you can wear a regular bra with this dress but still have a slight edginess to it despite that it's very classic it's just really easily wearable with a blazer as well perfect day to night dress you guys are always asking me for day to night transitional fashion tips so that you can not get changed completely I think a dress like this is perfect because you can wear a blazer on top of it and then to go out at night on a date or out with your friends just take off the jacket and then you have a perfect slightly sexy dress that's not actually that revealing so you could get away with it at work if you wanted to it's just it's a perfect little classic dress with a twist and another dress that will work for the same purpose of just being really easy to wear to work but is a bit more of a statement is this one and it is from Kate Spade which is a line that I really like but don't really own that much from now that said even though it's from Kate Spade to me this screams Missoni but is less expensive than Missoni especially at the anniversary sale price point I got an extra small I thought the small had a really long torso um, so I sized down and because it's a knit it was totally fine it's got just really gorgeous detailing I love the piping on it it has beautiful texture it's only given my absolute adoration for Eliza J and all their designs that I tried on this jumpsuit because I am not a jumpsuit person at all I don't really own any unless they're little rompers for the beach um, and I saw this and I thought I would give it a try and once I did it just looked so fabulous so I'll try it on so that you can see um, what it looks like it's got a velvet top and then really gorgeous flowy um, trousers I guess or the pants part of it and I just think this looks like it could be a high-end designer and the price point on it is really fantastic for what is essentially a whole outfit 
saved one of my favorite items for second to last, and that is this dress from Chelsea 28, one of my favorite brands um, last year um, at Nordstrom. Overall, they just put out some fantastic designs, and I think they're going to have another really strong season. Um, because case in point, this dress, I don't even know that I need to say anything. Price point is fantastic. It's around 120 Canadian, which for a party dress for the holidays is just perfect. I could see this being something that I would wear to my birthday dinner or any kind of Christmas holiday parties. But just given the beautiful color, I think I'll get a lot of wear out of this. It's just so opulent. I love the velvet that they used for this. It's just a really nice soft velvet and it's got a beautiful sheen, but it's not too much. It's not too metallic. Um, it fits really well around the bodice. I can see this being my party dress of the season. And then last but not least in this rather imposing dust bag is my new coat for winter. So you guys know if you follow me on Instagram, I bought a new fall coat, which is from Stella McCartney in the designer clearance sale. But this is really my winter coat. And there is something incredibly slimming and flattering about this coat. I don't normally buy black coats because it does tend to show off cat fur, but to me this one was worth it. It's from Macage, which is actually a Canadian brand, and it's got military detailing and a longer cut that's really just very lengthening. The way it fits around the waist and around the bodice is just so slimming and fantastic, and it will just go with everything. If I didn't know this was from Makaj, I would think it's from a European designer, maybe Burberry, but there's a lightness and softness to the fabric that I think is really unusual. So it's a wool blend and it will be really warm, especially if you live on the East Coast, this coat would be ideal. But even on the West Coast, there's a lightness to this coat when you wear it that is just wonderful because I feel like since I wear a lot of knits, a lot of sweaters, I don't want anything that's going to be very heavy, but I still want something to be warm because we did have a cold winter um, last year in Vancouver. So I'm really excited to have this as my sort of dressy, nice, perfect for work and perfect for a winter coat. Very advanced thinking, but even though this was still expensive, the sale on this was just incredible. And I think I had better get to editing this video and trying all of these things on for you because I know that that will be hopefully a useful tool to help you in your shopping. So I'm gonna go ahead and say thank you for watching. Thank you for getting excited about this sale with me. Thank you to Nordstrom for sending me a little bit of money to spend on this sale. I really adored shopping it. I went crazy and I can't wait to put together amazing outfits featuring all of these different pieces. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, so I hope that you will join me in that by subscribing to my channel and giving this video a like. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you, we will see you if Fufu decides to continue joining us on my bench in my next installment on style. Bye.